It's me again, David Bunnell, Hearts Technology Coordinator, with another Schoology tip. Here's how to add a uh, Google thing, slideshow, doc, sheet, to a page or to the instruction section of a Google or a Schoology assignment. So the first thing you need to do is be logged into Schoology, and as you can see, I am. You also should be logged into your Google Drive, so you can access your Thing, so you can get the, the your needed um, text from the the uh, resource, the Google resource, into your assignment. So I'm just going to go down to one of the assignments that I've created already in my sandbox. I scroll down here in this comparison activity. For this activity, I wanted the students to compare different uh, stories from different news websites and compare it to a fake one. So I embedded a slideshow in my my assignment so they could just click through here's here's a story about mattis here's another story about what is this county sheriff on the daily breeze website here's a denver post article and then here's the fake article and you notice that the the resource scrolls and works just like a slideshow google slideshow except it's embedded in the page which is kind of cool how, how do you do that, you might ask. So you go to your Google Drive, and here's my Google Drive setup, and there's only, almost fits all on one page. I should probably cut out a few of these folders so it fits on one page, and that would make it even better. So I go down to my Schoology Master Copies, and then I go to Future Ready, because that's what I made this for. And here's the, let's see, it was the new site screenshots. That's the slideshow I made. So I've already made the slideshow. I've got my screenshots. I'll do another video on how to make screenshots in Windows. Cool technique. Um, here's my slideshow. But you can't share this looking like this. And you can't share it with the link because they, you get the edited version. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to File. And then it's going to go down to, where to go? Publish to Web. And the first thing you see is the link. We don't want a link. We want to embed the, the thing. So you're going to go down to here and right here. Now I clicked on it. This is the, the HTML code that you're going to paste into your assignment, which will embed this slideshow into the, um, the assignment. And right here, it's set at medium. It's got to advance. If you click play, it'll advance every three seconds. You can change those things around and those you can you can see down here. So I'm going to copy that text. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my assignment. So it's already embedded, but now I'm going to go here and edit. And notice that that slideshow doesn't look like a slideshow, it's just like a yellow box in the editor. So don't be deceived, that's the slideshow. So I'm going to click on this button right here. It says switch to HTML. Now I'm going to look up here, it says comparison activity, and then it says this slideshow, so this paragraph of text. So you need to be able to recognize where to put the slideshow. And so I'm going to click on little dot, dots here, and here is what this page looks like to the web browser. Everything inside these little brackets are commands to the web browser to do something. And you can see up here it says style, text align, center border, solid black, comparison activity. Now, outside, inside the brackets, there's that word comparison activity. So if we go back, we can see, ah, comparison activity, but all those commands said make this, this box around the outside, which gives it a little more definition, it gives a little more design to the page. Here's the paragraph of text, so let's go back and look. And P, so that's the command for paragraph in HTML land. So this is, there's, there's the paragraph. And here's where the, the slide was the the frame was pasted in so there's another uh, the, oh and then forward slash p that is the end of the paragraph that's the html code end of paragraph new paragraph here's the frame text so we would post we paste that information that we got from the slide the sl slideshow where it says publish to web embed all that text is here. Iframe source, there's the document, the link to the document, this huge long thing. Here's the size, 800 by 474, frame border one, all this stuff. And then now we go back 
and there's the Lilo Leo box, and then we cancel out of this, and, and then it looks like this. But now, I've noticed that my slideshow isn't, is too wide for my browser here. So what I can do is I can go back, back to edit, and this yellow box, if I click on it, a little, little editor, like I can do some very basic editing here. So I'll go up here and say, oh, no, this is constrained proportions. I, I don't want the pictures to get skinny like the funhouse mirror or short and fat like the funhouse mirror. I want the picture, the, the proportions, the height width ratio to stay the same. If I leave this box checked and I change 800 to 700, 474 changes to 415. So the proportions stay. So then I click insert and now I can't see anything here because it's the yellow box. And I click Save Changes, and, I, and I'm going to assess. I could go more, but I think that works for me. I want it a little bit bigger because it's, it's centered. So now I can click through the, the page here, and all the pages show up. The kids can read the page. They can have access to the resources. And now I'll go down here. And let's say I want to turn future further resources into a link. So now I'm going to go back up here. There's a couple of ways to do this. So I'm going to click on Edit. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh, no, let's make it smaller. It's bigger. So I'm going to scroll down here. And notice that these are links. New York Times is a link. So to make something into a link inside your assignment, you just highlight it. And up here is the Link button. And I can paste a link in here, and then that would turn this into a hyperlink. If I, if I use this link button, it makes a link at the bottom of the assignment. It's not going to be text highlighted in the assignment like New York Times Daily News. So I've got links to all these assignments, all the, the, uh, the newspaper articles that appear in the slideshow are also linked at the bottom of the page. So if they want to go in here and look at them that way. So let's go into the HTML editor really quick. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page, and here's what those the uh, that one link for the New York Times look like looks like. So there's the link to the New York Times the New York Times link. So it says New York Times. Open bracket a title equals, and there's the title of it. So I'll, we'll go that over that in a second. href, and here's the link to the to the article. Close bracket the New York Times. Forward bracket or open bracket, forward slash A, close bracket, that's the whole link right there. So the link starts with A, that's the command, which is make a link, and then ends with forward slash A. And it ends up looking like this. Now, notice that I, was, I said there was a title in there. When you do a link with Schoology, it doesn't have the title. You can add it yourself, and you can look up anything you want. So if I mouse over that, look, it says New York Times. This one says Daily Breeze. Oh, you can't see that. I just realized you can't see those in the in the um, in the uh, this version of the screen editor. But trust me, there's if you mouse over it, the word the New York Times comes up. Whatever the title is of the link will come up. Now, for for um, helpful purposes, a lot of the HTML I get from W three schools. So if you go to W three schools. You can, there's all these different things, learn HTML, and you can search for different HTML techniques, learn HTML, and then right here, there's all sorts of tutorials and examples, and you can copy the HTML they have in their little editors. Oh, I want to make a line. I want to make a table. And it shows you the HTML, and, and you can just copy and paste or minor edit. You don't have to know HTML. You can just go to W3Schools and get a sample of what you want, uh, a color or a box or something and cut and paste it with maybe some editing if you want to go super fancy. Um, but that's just a, another little tip. But the basics are create an assignment. In the assignment, you're going to use, you're going to add your slideshow. You add your slideshow by going to uh, File, Publish to Web, Embed. Copy the iframe text. It's got to be the whole thing. The, not, don't leave anything else. Uh, control C, Command C, whatever your copy, Control Insert, copy that text, then go to your assignment, paste it in. Uh, and always don't forget, this is a YouTube video, so you can click on that little gear, you know, speed it up, slow it down, watch it again. All right, and scene.